The state that was decided by just over 11,000 votes in 2020 today is showing enthusiasm like never before. Made sure I got here for the first day because I didn't want to take any chances of missing this. Georgia voters cast more than 300,000 ballots in the first day of early voting, a new record. Former President Trump held a rally in Atlanta Tuesday night, and earlier in the day, he faced tough questions at the Economic Club of Chicago, teetering on whether he has spoken with Russian President Vladimir Putin since leaving office, a question based on reporting that he previously denied. Well, I don't comment on that, but I will tell you that if I did, it's a smart thing. On the economy, Trump is promising tariffs that would prevent foreign companies from selling a single car in the U.S., despite most mainstream economists saying tariffs increase the cost for American consumers. I'm going to put a 100, 200, 2,000 percent tariff. They're not going to sell one car into the United States. While in Battleground, Michigan, Harris spoke with radio host Charlemagne the God and stopped by a Detroit business contrasting her agendas with Trump's. My plan will strengthen our economy. He's, his will exasperate inflation. His will invite a recession by the middle of next year. Her plan, according to the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, would add $3.5 trillion to the national debt. That same group says Trump's would add $7.5 trillion. Harris has prioritized adding tax incentives for small business owners and first-time home buyers, plus loans for black entrepreneurs. My agenda is about tapping into the ambitions and the aspirations, knowing that folks want to have an opportunity. If they want, they should have a meaningful opportunity to build wealth, including intergenerational wealth. Today, Harris rallies with more than 100 Republicans in Pennsylvania. She'll also sit down with Fox News. Trump pre-taped a town hall with a group of women. That also airs today. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.